Hey everyone, it's Deanna Fenton. I wanted to pop in here because along with a lot of messages and emails and notifications you might have been seeing regarding the GPDR, I, oh, I'm going screwing this up, the General Data Protection Regulation. Okay, that's about to happen, take effect on May 25th. You might have been getting some emails from Google. So obviously, if you have a website, you should have Google Analytics on your website. Now, there have been emails that have been coming out uh, from Google asking us to make some changes to the length of time that our data is retained in our Google Analytics account. So I don't know if any of you have taken action on it. Honestly, I have kind of procrastinated on it. I've done some research and now I will state for the record, I am not an attorney. I am not giving you legal advice. This is just my research and trying to explain to you from a global perspective, global meaning big, big picture standard, what Google is asking us to do and what the potential potential impact is on your business. I have done some research. I've read a lot of different opinions about why Google is even doing this. It's important to understand that Google Analytics does in effect have a way of identifying people that access our websites. That is obviously what GDPR is all about. It's about um, the ability to identify a person from the European Union and have what could be considered private data about them. Now, we in the U.S., if you only deal with local businesses, you don't actively market to anyone in the EU, it's still good for you to be aware of this. And last week, I had interviewed Christy Westerfeld, who is an attorney. We talked in great length about GDPR. How does it affect a local business if you do market where um, you could be emailing people in the European Union? What does that mean for your business and what safeguards should you take to protect your business and be in compliance with GDPR? But this was a little different scenario. And again, this is just what I'm finding from the research that I've been doing. And I wanted to kind of go over this with you so there's there's no real confusion. So let's um, go ahead and I am going to switch to share my screen. Hopefully you're, sh you're seeing this and uh, apologize. I probably should be checking on my phone to make sure that it is broadcasting properly. Um, so what you're seeing here is an email, and this is the most recent one I got, which was May 10th, um, a few, well, 11 days ago. And this came from Google. And again, you may have received this and you may be wondering what in the world does it mean? Um, because they did try and explain in detail what was going on. Um, but I'm sure like, like me, some of it has kind of made you go, what? Uh, so what they're talking about is data retention. So there's controversy and confusion from the things that I researched, whether this really truly is directly related to the regulations of GDPR or not. But what they're saying to us is that any user and event data that is older than retention settings that you are asked to set in your Google Analytics account will be deleted. Now, I think initially you hear that and you're like, oh my God, I don't want anything deleted. Why would they delete my data? That's important, etc." Any of the standard reports that you get in Google Analytics, um, that's not the data that they're talking about. There is some more advanced use of Google Analytics, and many of you may not even be aware of them. You may not be using them. However, if you have done any kind of Google AdWords um, and 
and worked with somebody that may have created custom reports and done some specific segmentation, then it does impact you because what it's saying is that data that was used in creating those kinds of custom reports and segmentations will be deleted as of the actually the 24th because these are set to take effect the 25th. So you may, again, <clears throat> pardon me, you, you probably got this email. And then, of course, your question is, what in the world do I do about it? So I'll just show you, for example, um, when I logged in to my Google Analytics account. And now, mind you, I also am an administrator on uh, many, 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 many of my clients. So I have a lot of Google Analytics accounts to, to worry about. Um, but mine in particular, you see, I've got this yellow banner up here saying we've recently launched new data retention controls that may affect your data starting May 25th. To dismiss this message, please visit your property data retention settings under admin property tracking info and click save. Well, now, again, because I have not taken action on this yet, this pop up came up because they want me to take action and set this right now. So what does this mean for us? Again, they re reiterate that they're talking about controlling the length of period, the length of time that data is saved and available in your account that has some association with a user identifier. Again, if you do Google AdWords, for example, um, it also is talking about use of cookies. What they're giving you is an option of retaining that data. Automatically on uh, May 25th, if you do not take action, it's going to delete all the data that is older than 26 months. Now, I'm not really sure why they chose that length of time, but that's what they're going to do. Remember, this primarily is for custom reports that have been created, um, not your standard, how many users hit my website, um, that kind of thing. Any of the standard reports are not supposed to be affected by this. So here's, a, let me just show you. So here are the options. They'll delete data older than 14 months. 26 months, which is what it's set at a default right now, 38 months, 50 months, or never. So that's an option. You can choose to say, I don't want you to ever purge my data. Um, what does that mean? Well, again, not a lawyer, but if you are um, retaining this data if there's ever an issue regarding data, data privacy from somebody from the EU visiting your website, you are responsible for any of that data if it is within your control and you have access to it. Honestly, if you are not marketing to the EU um, and you're not running at not haven't run ads in the past or done any fancy segmentations with your data, you know, it, it's probably okay to, to go with the default of 26 months because they are assuring us that it doesn't affect your standard reports. Now, my understanding from some of the research I've done is Google is also going to make it, that they're working on making it available for us that let us say somebody from the EU said, I don't want you using my data. They're saying that they're working on a way that you can actually go in and then delete that data. And I mean, all of this seems so overwhelming for some of us because especially again, if you're a local business and you're not marketing to the EU and you have no way of ever selling to the EU, you need to show that you've, you've at least been aware and you made it available for people in the EU to be opted out of receiving communications, of you retaining their data, et cetera. So this is where we're at. And I don't have a great answer for, or definitive answer for you. 
I honestly have not done uh, Google AdWords for my business. I don't have any data that I would like to retain because I've done any kind of customer ad hoc reports. So from that standpoint, 26 months might be okay. But let's look at what we're doing going forward and thinking about would, would you do that in the future? And if you did that in the future, how important would having that that historical data be to you? Um, instinctively, my thought also is if I don't have current reports, if I'm not using those kinds of ad hoc reports and segmentations, um, the way things change so quickly, maybe 26 months is actually the right amount of data to retain because this is going to be ongoing. Um, and that just means, oh, every 26 months, whoever was there in the 27th month, that data is gone. Uh, so I just want you to be aware of that. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and click remind me later so I can show you really quickly if that you don't have these horrendous nag bars showing up on your account. You want to go to admin. Um, I think it's properties. You want to be in the correct property. And then you want tracking info and right here, data retention. And you can see mine is set at 26 months. So I can change it right here and I could change it to whatever length of time or not to expire. Now, I will tell you one uh, article I read about this. Here, let's just go back to, to me for right now. I'll tell you that one of the um, articles I read, the, the guy that wrote it was stating he really didn't think this was directly related to GDPR at all. He felt it was Google's opportunity to purge a lot of unused data or purge a lot of um, data because you have to imagine Google servers that just have, I don't even want to guess how much data they're holding on to. And that by doing this, um, they're basically having an opportunity to just clean out and clean out a whole bunch of data on their servers that they don't have to store any longer. It probably helps them as well, because obviously with the regulations that are coming out, they are considered um, a data collector. And the fact that they are retaining and they're holding all this data, they have some really extreme responsibilities under the regulations in doing that. So purging this data for them probably helps them a great deal. So bottom line, if you're asking me for a recommendation, I can only tell you what, from my standpoint, what I'm looking at, I don't really need to retain any of that data older than 26 months because there really isn't any. I mean, there is no um, data from ads that I've done and there is no data from um, or reports that I've had uh, specifically created for me that would use that kind of data. Uh, that again, they state that all our standard reports, all these, uh, let's get over here. Oh, I'm not even sharing the screen, so you don't even see it. Here we go, let's go back here. You know, any of our standard reports, um, you know, our real time, our audience, you know, our referral data, all of that kind of stuff. Um, they're saying that that data will be retained and you're not going to lose it by making this, this option. So if the fact is, if you have questions and you can ask the question of a lawyer that is well-versed in this, it's probably a great idea to do that. I think for most of us, you can either opt to keep it all, you know, I always like to say I'm built some suspenders and maybe someday that would be important to me. Um, maybe keep it all or go with the recommendation of the 26 months. But it's, a, it's going to happen to your account regardless. If you don't make a choice, it's going to default to the 26 months. 
So that's what these emails are all about. And again, you probably have received them. I'm sure they're probably going to send out another one um, within a day or so, because this deadline is May 25th. And that's the date that all of this is going to take place. So yeah, one more GDPR. Um, oh my God, what do I do kind of videos, but I wanted you to be aware of it because it's, again, it's going to happen regardless. So look for that email. If you don't have it, um, hopefully you are an admin on your Google analytics account. Cause I think sometimes that gets overlooked or if you have worked with somebody that has built your website and set up the Google analytics, you may just be assuming they're taking care of it for you. And you really shouldn't assume that because it is, you know, it is your account, it's your data, it's your business. So if you have any questions, um, you can certainly post a comment and I'll do my best to, if I can't answer it, um, refer you to some, some of the uh, blog posts and articles that I have been reading about this. And uh, share this with anybody that you think should be aware of this as well in case, you know, they're, they're not staying on top of it. And like I said, the email itself was is really kind of confusing unless you are always working in Google Analytics and you're really in, involved with understanding the data. It just might have slipped by and you, you probably just looked at it as I don't, you know, just one more message from Google. So. I would suggest you take it seriously and make a decision. Honestly, any decision is better than no decision, you know, because then you understand it and you have your logic for the choice that you make and you have it available. Uh, stay in touch with me, you know, if you can want to follow. Oh, hi, Becky. Um, I guess you're just getting on. It's an email that would have come from Google. And it would have been regarding your Google Analytics. So uh, let me pop back over here to the screen share. And if you can see that, you would have gotten this email. This one, in fact, came on May the 10th to me that says, important reminder, review your data retention settings before they take effect on May 25th. They obviously had sent previous emails um, that, hey, I'm just like you, I get buku emails and i may not have seen it yeah see they okay that was the may 10th they sent it on may 8th uh and april 27th so oh no this one yeah this was about uh actually this one was different because just like many of us again google because of the kinds of data that they collect they were asking us to accept an updated data processing agreement for all of the Google products that you may have been using. But the most recent email would have been around May the 10th. And again, I suspect there'll be another one sent probably in the next day or two, uh, reminding you to review your data retention settings under Google, Google Analytics. Um, sorry about that. I'm going to get back over here. Okay, Becky, good. Glad you um, glad you got it. Okay, so look for that, especially again, you, you should be on your Google Analytics account as an administrator and the email would have gone to you. So anyway, again, hey, share this with someone that you think might have missed it and or needs the information. Uh, stay tuned because I'm going to continue. We're going to be doing more Facebook Lives. This one was very impromptu. I did not schedule this one. Uh, but I thought this was important information to get out. I know we're all probably scrambling, doing all the things we need to do for uh, with our email automation systems and our email service providers. Uh, but I hope this was helpful. We'll be sending out or I'll be sending out more Facebook lives talking about all of these great things in terms of our online marketing. And you can always reach me at Deanna at DeannaFenton.com. And until next time, I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.